they're looking to see how did you take care of yourself? How did you show up for your family? How were you able to move through this time with grace and humility? The educational landscape has experienced lots of dramatic changes throughout the course of the pandemic. Cindy Channon says a lot of what's happening this year is a reaction of what happened last year. It's really a mixed bag. There were certain hyper-selected schools that admitted a certain number of students and then yielded more than they were anticipating, meaning more students showed up first day freshman year than they had resources for. And that was a nightmare. And so this year, some of those hyper-selected schools are gonna be even more selective, whereas some of the schools that were moderately selective didn't meet their enrollment quota. They didn't get the class that they were hoping for and anticipating. So they're gonna probably be more come one, come all. Cindy says for the most part, what's being asked of students right now is very much on point of what's been asked of them in the past. But this time around, they actually have more choices. They now have this leverage to decide, am I going to play my best hand of cards and submit an SAT or an ACT score? Or is that not going to present me in the best light? Would I be better off not including those scores? One thing Cindy is noticing, oddly enough, is that there are fewer financial aid applications. A lot of the families who would have most benefited from financial aid decided not to even bother applying in this last cycle. They wanted to just stay home, focus on family. A trend she's seeing play out is how schools are not only focused on how prepared a student is academically, but how prepared are they socially and emotionally? A lot of students arrived onto campus this year and within two weeks withdrew and said, I can't handle this right now, this is too much. So they're gonna be really scouring the application to look for signs of where your social emotional intelligence is. She says really dedicate time and effort on that personal statement. Show these schools who you are and what life experience you've had. Don't hold back. It's okay to write about mental health struggles, to write about how the pandemic has affected your family, or to talk about social justice or the racial reckoning. More students are delving in to what was previously seen as risque topics more than ever before. Roxy is here now, and you know it's really interesting. I like hearing that, that they want students to be able to talk about those parts of mm -hmm. them that make them a student that might stand out from some of the other students. Right, don't be afraid of going somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's good that people can be open and Absolutely. honest and that that's what makes you stand apart. Especially after the pandemic. Another thing that occurred to us is, is I remember before you always had to get these letters of recommendation, right? It was always such right. a thing. You had to go around and talk to friends of your parents or people you'd worked with or mostly or whatever. mostly like, you know, teachers or teachers, professors, sure, coaches, sure. Yeah. like internships you've had. So she was saying because of COVID, a lot of people were either Zooming, they didn't have that face to face interaction so the experience you would have gotten getting to know someone oh. you were lacking so she's saying yeah. make this brag sheet calling it a brag sheet and really just highlight who you are and brag about yourself because then you're able to give that to whomever's going to write the letter yeah. of rec and they get to kind of know you because they didn't really get a chance to know you and the other thing that we heard a lot about uh was the act and sat score being score optional. included optional what is right what does it stand right now? i wish so much that this was something i could have taken advantage of because i didn't do that well with this it, I'm not a test taker. Yeah. I did better writing essays. But point so, being, if you can actually choose now, it's, you know, you have the power. Do I want to include my score? Will it help me or will it hurt me? Mm -hmm. So that's a big difference It is making this a year. big difference mm -hmm. for students. Thank you for this. This yeah. is the this is where people are Good luck, are everyone. I know. They need it. They yeah. need all the support they can get. All right, darling. Thank mm -hmm. you.